Did you know it's possible to build supercomputers in Minecraft just using redstone? I kind of knew that, but didn't know just how powerful they can be. Maybe I should build one of these in my hardcore world. Let's check out the history of Minecraft's supercomputers. So this first one... Key. It takes two inputs and gives an output... Is it technically a computer? Receives oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I guess and if they this... both do. This is a CPU built using only Wait. redstone. Wait. Is it Tetris? Tetris? Without any mods, plugins, or commands. No plugins. way. How did the Minecraft community get from this all the way over to this? Wow. That looks well, very complicated. But buildable. Maybe. I don't know. We're about to... Yeah, the, the history of redstone computed from the very first ones all the way now. It seems to have made them more compact now than they used to be. But maybe this could new redstone components came out. I don't know. This Let's story see. starts July 2nd, 2010, with the release 2010. of Minecraft Alpha v1.0.1, which brought the addition of redstone dust and redstone. There's forces. no way people just start making computers the, as soon as redstone was made, though. And were only added. called the red dust stuff by Notch in some Tumblr post. So we'll just go with that. Very the red dust stuff, okay. With the red dust stuff back then, as it would break if the player walked over it. And on July 6th, it was updated to not do this anymore. This I remember that. Like, mobs could walk on your redstone, redstone and it would break YouTube it. Really videos, weird. Like this one, where a guy makes a sheep blow up. <laughs> now, <laughs> they're the first redstone contraption. This video reasonably low tech and simple so that anyone can understand it. Even I'll be able so, to understand this. All you need to know is that a logic gate is how multiple inputs interact with each other. They make up everything about computers and that they absolutely suck to build with only redstone and redstone. Okay, portions. logic gates are a little bit complicated, I guess, but that's how computers, computers work in general. Time on the Minecraft I'm learning. I'm, I'm about to learn how to make my own computer, like eh? Display Maybe not. <laughs> or segment display plots. And needless to say, there was very little hope from the general player base that making a computer could even be possible. They on thought it wouldn't be possible in redstone. Okay, the user interesting. By the name Cyber S4 creates a video showcasing an absolutely huge build which functions as RAM for a computer. It can store 16 bits of memory. Isn't it crazy? So like, the things that make this computer work and whatever you're watching this on are like all recreatable on a massive scale and people know how to do that and it's just a bunch of like binary and it's possible in Redstone but it's so complicated and I don't know how they, they know how to do it. But it is possible, it's weird isn't it? In the description of the video, he states that he might be working on more parts of a computer in the future. So he made RAM, which is obviously part of a computer, but this is before like the CPU later, was even made. The video of himself peeling plastic off an old radio. Okay, he's kind of satisfying, I'll give you that. Oh, here we go. Ta-da! It wasn't <laughs> until two months later when the first real pioneer of redstone Whoa. computing, the internet Look how big that is! Would upload so, this viral is this just when there was only redstone dust and torches? Were repeaters even a thing? Or was it was it less like pre-repeaters and they had to make computers without repeaters? That sounds very complicated. Let's, let's see. ...video of a 16-bit arithmetic logic unit he built, which is just nerd thought for a calculator inside of a CPU. Oh, it's a calculator, What's okay. about this is that it was actually designed to be a part of a full working computer. And this won't be the last time we hear from this guy. What's even more special about so this is, just, this is, is that this the beginnings of a computer. Look how old is the Alpha repeaters. Minecraft is. So half of the rest I can't believe people were making things like this back then. Signals, and everything was built either in survival mode or through using MC Edit. Wow. Yeah, because I don't even think creative later, existed, did the it? The user, the one Laz, completes and uploads the first ever fully working Minecraft computer. This is the first ever computer in alpha. Whole bytes no way. Of RAM. This was the first computer ever to feature a full instruction set, meaning it can basically do anything a so modern levers computer here. can do. Assuming you don't mind waiting a very long time. Have we even got repeaters yet at this point? And didn't want it to output any images. It is programmed through flickering levers and then pressing a button to save the program to its memory. Apparently, this whole thing was built in survival mode, and the madman even uploaded a video of himself surviving a night without any torches underneath the computer, as if he wasn't just one creeper away from ruining all of his work. The next wow. day, the internet all in survival. Uploads his I forget how hard Minecraft used to be. Did, like Although back in the day, they had to do everything in survival, like all this no complicated redstone, and they didn't have Only all the components the we have. CPU registers as memories for its program. Some clever people out the there. The day after that, Nerfer releases a more compact CPU design, 
and then he compacted it down. Two bytes wow. Of memories and had extremely limited operations. Innovation was kind of at a standstill at this point. Look at this. With several How engineers building their own PCs built on the hack architecture, which is exactly the same thing that Internet for the Win was doing. And then a couple of other people built 32-bit calculators, which were cool, but none of them ever really made it into a full computer build. Yeah, so they're making calculators, but not actually making a computer yet. Okay. With the release of Minecraft Beta 1.3. The repeater. The addition of repeaters, which allowed for redstone signals to be extended faster, more compact, and without having... So this must change the game. This must change everywhere. the game big time. It was also around this time that red dust stuff finally gained its... Oh, it got a name, redstone. As redstone <laughs> as nice. This is what the nerd community had called it at the time. Really? So on the Minecraft got the idea for the name of the redstone dual core from was the Minecraft community. That's by cool. Anomalous Cobra and Joe Meister 15. Look at this. Which worked by passing the outputs of the first CPU. A dual core CPU. This is getting complicated, but it looks absolutely massive. Eventually, do things twice as fast. Although it could so it's double the speed of other and output ones. numbers smaller than 100. It wasn't truly dual core either. More dual CPU. The 30th of June 2011 brought Minecraft Beta 1.7 and Pistons, which allowed people to create Ooh. actual... So this is when Pistons... So it's interesting to think that instead of just using redstone torches, all of this kind of... They had to progressively improve the computers as the Minecraft added new August redstone components. It's interesting. By Dineon 84, who came out of literally nowhere with a huge computer. Whoa! Although it was this is like the first... Computer, it had kind of GUI kind of thing, isn't it? By 16 display and like with a display. Keyboard. And they don't have redstone lamps yet. They've had to use pistons to do it. Which but I guess that makes sense. You can use the pistons to translate the redstone code signal code into something. Before that, wrong. you didn't have lamps, you didn't have pistons, you didn't have anything. But now they can actually, yeah, do, do stuff. It just takes forever. Dineon claimed that the display was also capable of lighting up single pixels instead of just displaying words for a truly functional computer. Pretty cool though that it, it, no it's beginning to be able to type stuff. Yes, it's slow, but it's beginning to do it. was ever released. Three months later, Lawrence Wayne released his Red Game computer, which also featured a full piston display, and he would continue to work through three Imagine how hard it is to do something with piston displays. As cool as all the redstone is, there is no video of the later iterations doing anything, and I can't figure out how to get it to do anything interesting enough to share. But just know that it existed. Okay, it existed. We don't know. You can't get it to work, but it existed. Minecraft 1.2.1 was released on the 1st of March 2012. So it's still in 2012, lamps, and computers were like massive even the then. Display capabilities of pistons by making them actually light up and reduce lag they caused on people's dying Pentium 2s. However, these actually saw extremely limited use, mainly as binary output or seven segment displays. As no Look new redstone that. mechanics had been introduced to allow How have they done that? interesting designs Without... to be built. And Are they like making it so one block moves and another one goes in? From before. The redstone I guess when pistons were added, really sticky pistons were as well though, right? Toys to play with. And on March 13th, 2013, they would get this in the form of the redstone update. Oh, the this redstone update. update. This must have been a game changer, 2013. And useful redstone features used everywhere today. Including the, 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 the redstone, droppers, droppers, the dispensers, droppers, the lamps. Most importantly of all, oh my goodness. Comparators, which allow comparators, for not comparators, comparators. <laughs> but However, yeah, comparators. These new features I bet they're so useful. Interest to most people. Completely changed the game. CPU designs actually came out for a very long time. This was especially true for I am Mr. Hello, who are you? Who on the 17th? Look at how much this has changed from those early ones, where it's just redstone dust and redstone torches. Knowledge. The first video of a CPU with a true working display and demonstrates its draft drawing capabilities all without actually using anything added in the 1.5 update. And okay, so that's didn't even that use the new redstone stuff. Okay. It. People what? stopped working on their CPUs for a few years. People stopped caring. There were, of course, still people making them, but Whoa, they what's were that? all extremely similar to the earliest computers. That was until 2015. When this is members it. of a server called Open Redstone Engineers began taking the interest in Minecraft computers and building their own, developing parts. Okay, of so this is kind of the resurgence, so 2015, One 2016. Another innovator of this era was a YouTube channel called Redstone Without Limits, 
who created an independent two kilobytes Whoa. of RAM using comparators. And then it looks massive, but it is just repeating the same thing over and over again, isn't it? So I guess it doesn't appear like the fact that it all works together though, and, and the RAM it's just module very clever. Was pretty unusably but I guess that's what CPUs are, are and stuff, aren't they? They kind of the same thing over and over again, and then all combined Another innovator together. was Lego Master 99. You can tell I don't really fully understand what goes on inside a computer, can <laughs> Although once again held back by the fact that it was only 8-bit and did not have a true display. Look at the size of this computer. I love the way they color code it all, though. I think that's smart. So you that you don't do lose everything. Like opening piston doors or really any other redstone functions with a Minecraft, which makes it practical if you consider building a huge redstone CPU as being something practical. This guy also made an entire programming language which allows programs to be written on someone's computer and then uploaded into Minecraft by generating a bunch of fill commands that it performs automatically to write the code in. And this is probably LEGO Master's wow. greatest achievement. It, like Three connects to later, each other. Okay. LEGO once again outdoes himself by giving his computer a GPU and a full a GPU. display. As well as having wow. a user so I guess does that speed up the display? Code for some of the more basic functions, although it does have support for the. I don't. I, I can't believe this is possible. Can do things like I really want to see how like the Tetris one works as well. Graphs. Then came along 2019, oh, which what, what a year that was. SMP Live, PewDiePie, Hypixel Skyblock, Minecraft Mondays, and the eventual resurgence of Minecraft. Ah, a little research, yeah, nice. It basically becomes a hit for the second time overnight. People flawed back to their game, and the hundreds and hundreds. So did PewDiePie kind of research Minecraft single-handedly in a way? Same 8-bit and 16-bit computers that have been built since 2010. A notable exception to the rule is Sapling who built an entire Atari 2600 emulator in Minecraft. Although this has been in the works for a few years before then, this was the year where- Is this using command blocks though? One FPS, That's cool though. Which makes it- The fact that it works. Usable. I haven't mentioned this properly though, as it runs entirely on command blocks. Yeah, it's I different when it's on redstone. You know, redstone's more impressive than using command blocks. Command blocks is still pretty impressive, but you can do a lot more with, red, with command blocks. Easier compared then, to redstone. 2020 came along. The pandemic started, and all of a sudden, a lot of very talented people had a lot of spare time. Ah, that so this is what kind of affected a lot of things. Redstone engineering. And yeah, this was maybe that's also not one of the best around the time that editing software became easier to use and easier to pirate. So everyone and their mother was editing their CPU demonstrations videos like some sort of out of So people could make cool really. CPUs now because the they had time on their hands. They were making amazing Matt edits Matt for them. Who created a calculator with a full lamp display designed to be as It's not actually that big is that possible. for a calculator. Another pointless computer was the one used by Red Slimecraft, which was a 4-bit computer but was also a flying machine. So a a four-bit computer move. that flies. This okay, kind of cool, I guess. Make it the first <laughs> computer built without using any redstone dust at all. But oh, exactly no redstone dust. So That's interesting. Functionality for its form. Then That's that the probably opened the way, right? In 2020, came the video that inspired me to make this video, the Q CPU by Q Smalley. The main attraction of this computer is its size. It's really small. It's for really its small compared. Do you think that's a massive CPU? They were massive before. Now look how small memory. they are. This is a heavily modular design that can add or remove things as they are needed as well, such as inputs that can be used whilst programs wow. are running, adding or removing. This, that's probably that needed. compact Most CPU could then be put into other people's computer computers, and that's how they kind of condensed everything. A full external assembler meaning you can program it like you would program any other programming language. And the assembler creates a pasteable schematic for the world that allows for that program to be ran in-game. And finally, it features a 1.27 Hz clock, which is really fast compared to other CPUs, and it achieves this largely through its compact design. This is like the, the computers the made in like the 60s CPU or something, isn't it? Was made by Fearless underscore like the, the, the progression of real life computers is kind of, has kind of happened in Minecraft over the last 10 years. This is roughly the fastest possible ACPU to get, as Redstone only runs at 10 ticks per second, so a CPU will never run faster than 10 Hz. But it's basically impossible to avoid using repeaters somewhere, which add delay. And this, so this is almost as fast as the CPU could possibly be in Minecraft. Wow. Before it finishes processing the first instructions, 
and being very wary of how many repeaters are placed to cut down as much time as possible. The only downside is the fact that it is just a basic calculator. June 5, 2021, Torb releases a viral video showcasing a One Earth computer that also features both calculator functions and a full pixel display. That's the computer cool. can be programmed by placing redstone torches in the ROM section according to an instruction set given in the books you get in the world. Back over to Matt. Okay, Atlas so yeah, the, the, the binary effects it. Okay. He Ooh, started can... creating Tic -tac -tac -tac. game consoles inside Minecraft. They're like normal computers, but designed to play a specific game instead of having a general purpose, which is equally impressive as they are much faster than general computers due to them being purpose built. This is cool. As a result, Matt wow. was able to create playable games no such as Atari way. that involve a basic physics engine or chess, which has a lot of things to keep track of. There's no way, Other chess. Of Matt's projects included no a huge graphing calculator. Wow, that can graph how have people done this? This is like, it, it's just like the, the boom just happened in 2021 where hours, and an when they made like calculator that computers spe for a specific job, they could do chess, outputs. graphing calculators, tic-tac-toe. most recent of all, on the 13th of November, 2021, wow. Sam Yuri creates and uploads the computational, humongous, unconventional number and graphics unit by Sam Yuri 2, okay. or the Chungus 2 for short. The Chungus 2. 256 bytes of memory and a one Earth clock. The Chungus 2 is probably and this is how they make the Tetris. most intricate wow. and powerful CPU, and also supports additional program memory if it is needed. Much like the QCPU, the Chandras 2 has an external programming language that can be used to create programs for it in the form of schematics. So you can create programs, so it's like a proper computer. Oh, look at this. the real-time processing, it can be sped up through a variety of mods and server plugins. I strongly suggest that if this video interested you, that you wow. check out the they, original that video. That was so, so interesting. It makes me want to try and build a simple computer in Minecraft or a calculator or something. And the video came out over a year ago, so by now, there's, there's probably even more impressive computers in Minecraft.